Hi ladies and gentlemen, Rick Marston, Rick Marston Official. I'm doing a quick little tutorial on how to transfer a file from your thumb drive onto the HD or SSD of the Korg Kronos. Okay, so you have just transferred the folder from your computer onto your thumb drive and you just put your thumb drive in the back of your Korg Kronos slash Nautilus. And then you're gonna push disk. Okay, so you just hit the disk button and this is the actual HDD, the actual internal hard drive, the SSD of the Korg Kronos. These are the actual folders that I have already on it. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to go hit this little bar here that says HDD internal and either go up with your button or you can turn right with the scroll. And these are the objects or the folders and items that I have on the actual thumb drive. I'm going to actually transfer this item called Uber Synth Effects. It could be anything that you want to do, but this is just me doing a transfer test so you know. So you highlight the item you want transferred. So you hit utility on the top right hand co corner and hit copy. Okay. Now it's going to go, oh my gosh, where are we going to go with this? What we're going to do is we're going to transfer. We're going to go back to the little bar in the bottom and go down or use your little scrolly and you go back to HDD internal and then you're going to hit paste. Okay. And it's going to take a little bit to copy this large folder. But again, if it's just a small item, it'll be really quick. Uh, this is almost two gigs, uh, this folder, this sample pack uber synth effects which i'm transferring over to the internal hard drive and uh, like i said it takes a little bit but this is how you do it people have always asked me rick i don't know how to get that folder onto my chrono slash nautilus so here we go this is kind of how you do it You did it. Okay, so you were still on, it leaves you still on the uh, thumb drive. So I'm going to go back to the HD, the hard drive or the SSD. Look, there it is. Now, here's the big question, Rick. What is the difference between streaming and just you know loading my samples and stuff? Well, streaming allows you to play an entire sample pack without stressing out the actual memory or using all your RAM. So let's go into the global mode. I'm going to hit global here, and I'm going to show you how to KSC auto load the file. So that saves you from having to use all of the memory, your sample memory, which you have got 601 megabytes or data available, sampling RAM, zero, and then basically this is all the factory information. So far, I am streaming multiple sample packs. This is why the Korg Kronos is still relevant today. Um, you can load multiple sample packs and use the word stream them because you're not using the internal RAM, your two gigs or three gigs of memory to do it. You're basically pulling a sample one at a time, one sound at a time, loads an entire multis with all this, the, the PCG uh, information, your effects, your insert effects, globals, all that stuff all at once, but only pulls that one sound so it doesn't stress out the entire memory. So that's the difference between streaming and using your, your RAM. So if I would like here, okay, I'm gonna go back into uh, disk mode and say if I was to try to load this, I open this by hitting open. And like say, if I just try to hit load on something, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna overwrite everything? Okay, so load selected, just a minute. See, look at this. It's gonna ask me if I do this, do I wanna clear all this information? It would require me to fill up almost two gigs of sample RAM. Yes, there's enough sample RAM, yes, on my, this Kronos, but you would literally overwrite all of the factories, all the, the program information, all of your other stuff just to concentrate on this one sample pack, which is great because when you're done with that, you won't have any of the other stuff to a, attach to it and you can allocate and assign you know, by turning off specific things that you don't want when you save everything. But in this case, we don't want to load this. Why? Because like I said, it clears out all the other sounds on your synth. It's just going to focus on this one sample pack. It turns your Kronos into a artistic palette to create a new sample pack or a sound collection by doing this. So like I said, if I was to hit yes, I would just, whoosh, or I can clear the sample data and just use that. Or a pending basically tries to save as much as you can, but because the sample pack is so huge, you would run out of room and it would warn you, I'm sorry, you don't have enough memory to load this and keep all the factory data and your other sample packs together all at the same time. 
So that sounds pretty confusing. So in a nutshell, streaming only allows you to play and pull one multi and sound at a time. So it doesn't stress out the synth. Loading all into your RAM clears everything out and you only focus on this one sample pack and collection of samples, okay? And literally, uh, the, when you turn off the keyboard after you're done saving all your samples, when you do this mode here, uh, it will reload all the factories and normal stuff anyway. So don't fear you're gonna clear out everything and erase everything because it won't permanently do it. Uh, it when the, the keyboard turns on, I'm gonna show you this next mode here called KSC Auto Load. We're gonna go into the global mode by hitting global. Okay, here we go, KSC Auto Load. So to avoid this, see your factories all load up into the KSC. So that fills up a big chunk of RAM, okay? These little guys, they are all two gigs, about two gigs each, my sample packs included, so they're big. But they only are taking a few megabytes, 40 megabytes to run them or to stream these sample packs. So again, streaming pulls only one multi at a time, so it doesn't stress and fill, have to use the entire amount of sample RAM to make this, to make the sample pack play. So I hope that explains what the difference between streaming is and uh, loading an entire sample pack into your RAM, which completely wipes everything out so you can just focus on the sample pack itself. It's like an artist. You want to clear off everything else, focus on your artwork there, and then save it, and then bring everything back together again. So here what we're going to do is we're going to add a KSC, and in this case I'm going to add one, uh, which is cool. So when we're adding one, we just want the user bank data, the user bank, like on the, on the Nautilus, you don't load the, the actual KSC, you load the user bank KSC, and I'll show you which one is that. Okay, so I'm going to want to add from the internal hard drive, not from the external, because it can give you that as an option. Do not ever try to stream something from your thumb drive. You'll crash your Kronos. Um, here we go. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is we're going to add a KSC file, which allows me to stream this sample pack. I'm going to stream Uber Synth effects. So I'm going to open it up, the folder. There it is. You, Uber, <laughs> there it is. Uber Synth effects underscore userbank.ksc. That's what you always want to load into your Nautilus when you're wanting to load my sample packs. And if you're wanting to stream on the, the Kronos itself, you are going to add the KSC. Add this file to the KSC Autolo page. Okay, here it goes. <clears throat> here it is, right here. It says KSC said we need to change this to virtual memory. Now, if you ever, ever, ever want to remove something, it's the highlighted object that will be removed or destroyed. So God forbid you go like this and you say remove KSC. Just never remove the preload KSC, whatever you do. Never. You can get rid of everything else, but never get rid of this. Ever. Ever. Or you're going to have to re-add it again, and it's just a headache. In any case, here we go. So, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load this new sample pack into streaming. Since I changed it to virtual memory, we're going to do a do auto load now. This is going to load all of my sample packs and the original factory preloads at the same time. This will take a few seconds. But this ensures and loads everybody up at one time. The Kronos, when you power off and then power on, you don't have to do that now because it's basically doing that right now. Uh, but next time when I turn this off and then turn it on, all of these sample packs will load together after the original preloads load. And because it's only streaming these sample packs, it's not using all of the RAM or the memory and, and stressing out this Kronos. It's only using the sounds as pulled and requested as you select up or down or scroll on your, or tap on the specific sound that you want. The moment you hit that sound, the Kronos or Nautilus will pull that, the sample multi information into the program, so, and then you can just start playing. It's pretty darn cool like that. Okay, car just went by. We're getting there. All right, so this data has, and see all of them are loading together. There's no errors. Everything is fine. Now I need to load the programs. They need to go into the place because the sample data is on the Kronos. It's ready to be streamed. I have to add it. So I have to go back into disk mode, find that file. Oh wait, it already, we were already on it because we were looking to stream it. Remember I was going to do the stream and I was going to do the test on this. So it's already highlighted. I want to load the Uber Synth FX PCGs. So open the file and then open it one more time. 
Now we see user, I've said bank user G, I want to load, but I don't want it there. So it's going to ask me, where do I want to load it? I want to load it in BB. BB. All right. Literally that easy, that fast to load entire sample packs. Now I'm going to go into program by hitting program button. I'm hitting the double BB at the same time. And there it is. The sample pack is ready to go. This is the Uber Synthifex special, awesome sample pack. And of course you see it's all different types of synthesizers. All right, let's go. I'm going to play this demo. I love you guys. God bless you. Good luck. Bless you. Bye-bye.